And we're following a developing story right now. The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office has just released its final report on the controversial death of an inmate at the Dade Correctional Institution in Homestead. We've reported extensively on the death of Darren Rainey back in 2012. CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega has been studying the nearly 100-page report. She joins us from the newsroom with what it contains. Aurelia? Elliot, this lengthy report details more than 40 interviews conducted into Darren Rainey's death in 2012. Among them, Harold Hempstead, an inmate who spoke with CBS 4 News exclusively in 2016. The state attorney's office found that statement, statements made were exaggerated and they were not supported by surveillance video from within the Correctional Institute. Never before seen video shows Miami Dade Corrections inmate Darren Rainey being wheeled out in a gurney from a shower stall where he was allegedly scalded in a locked shower stall in June of 2012. But the state attorney's office concluded today the accounts of Rainey's death were sensationalized by a group of inmates who lied to investigators and reporters. Interviewing 30 inmates, six correctional officers, four nursing staff members, and the paramedic who responded to the prison, the state attorney found no criminal charges should be filed in the five year old death. Instead of ruling it a homicide, the medical examiner has ruled Rainey's death as accidental. Uh, he just continued to yell, it's hot, get me out of here, and kept kicking and kicking and kicking. CBS 4 News was the only station to speak with Harold Hempstead, an inmate who was also housed at the Dade Correctional Institute. He claimed Rainey was placed in a shower that was rigged to be controlled by guards from the outside with temperatures reportedly able to reach 180 degrees. He was definitely also yelling, get me out of here, it's hot, it's hot, get me out of here. Hempstead claims he tried to get guards' attention when he heard Rainey screaming by yelling and waving his arms in front of the door. Surveillance video released from within the correctional institution by the state attorney's office shows otherwise. Hempstead had his windows covered, but he removed the covering minutes before a guard walked up to his cell. The guard walked away with some soap, and Hempstead is then seen lying down in his bunk. The kick and started slowing down. And then at 9.30, uh, I heard a, it sounded like he hit the wall and then his body fell and then there was no more yelling. According to the state attorney's office, inmate Hempstead's statements did not match what was captured on surveillance video. Pertaining to the cause of death, the state attorney's office report read, quote, Dr. Liu found that the following factors contributed to the cause of death of inmate Rainey. Schizophrenia, undiagnosed heart disease, and confinement inside the shower room with heat and humidity. Dr. Liu then determined that the matter of death was accidental because there was no intent on the part of the corrections officers to harm inmate Rainey, end quote. Additionally, the state attorney's office provided a number of photographs and emails pertaining to the investigation. It concluded, quote, Accordingly and in conclusion, the facts and evidence in this case do not meet the required elements for the filing of any criminal charges. Therefore, none of the corrections officers at Dade CI are criminally responsible for the death of inmate Rainey. Based upon the foregoing, we close this investigation without filing any criminal charges, end quote. And I just spoke with Milton Grimes, the attorney representing the Rainey family, and he told me the family is disappointed and heartbroken by the state attorney's decision not to pursue criminal charges. He says he believes criminal charges should have been filed because Rainey should not have been left unattended because of the medication he was taking as he was subject to becoming unconscious when exposed to heat. You'll hear more from the attorney on CBS 4 News at 11. Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News. Aurelia, thank you.